Talk about change for the better? In this video, we're gonna talk about the all new 2019 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter and what it offers RVers. We just bought the brand new 2019 Leisure Travel Bands Unity FX and we're loving it. We'll have a full review on it in a future video. But right now, what I am really loving is the 2019 Mercedes-Benz chassis that this Unity is built on. In this video, I'm going to show you what impresses me the most and you'll hear from some top Mercedes-Benz Sprinter officials. This is our new van. We love the redesigned look and the super bright LED headlight. There are also a host of new safety features. There's active brake assist, which warns of oncoming danger and brakes for you. Active distance assist that works with speed control to slow down when you're approaching a slower moving vehicle. Attention Assist monitors your behavior and warns if it thinks that you're fatigued or drowsy. Lane Keeping Assist gives you tactile feedback if you unintentionally cross over into another lane. Traffic Sign Assist displays the speed limit, reading roadside signs, and Emergency Call can detect a crash and immediately call for help from first responders. All right, let's start with my absolute favorite thing, which is the new cab controls and the in-dash entertainment system. At the top of that list is this, this incredible new navigation system. It, it's awesome. It's all voice controlled. Watch this. Mercedes. How can I help you? Give me directions to 770 Sundial Court, Fort Walton Beach, Florida. Please select an entry. There it is. The route is being calculated. It is Please just... Please proceed to the highlighted route and then immediately <sighs> make a U-turn. I'll do so. Uh, it, it just does an amazing job, this entertainment system. But there's so much more to it. It's all touch control. You basically use it just like an iPad. Not only there, but you can also do touch controls on parts of the steering wheel as well to navigate between different screens. It also has a whole bunch of new entertainment features. It has XM Sirius satellite radio. It works with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And the sound system is vastly improved from the previous entertainment system on the Sprinters. Jason, let's talk about DEF and the uh, the new Sprinter. So yeah. on the new model year 19, we've uh, kind of moved the tank in the location where we actually pour the DEF fluid into. As you guys will see right in this area, we brought it over here to the front to kind of keep that spillage away from anything inside the actual engine bay. And now we've introduced the, the tank itself to physically move into this area, allowing a little bit more free space inside the actual engine cockpit itself. And something new that we've introduced for this year is also, we have two sensors now on the actual module itself. So what it does essentially, you have, you have a sensor acting across to read the actual level itself, and you have a sensor from below reading up and down to read the quality of the actual DEF fluid itself. With that, now inside the cockpit, you can see the different levels of the DEF filter and fluids for your, for your drivers. And you get up. how many starts when you're down? I think you get eight or 10 starts, something like that. We get about 16 starts when you're down. Oh, really? And yeah. then, uh, that's good. And, um, I think the advice is somebody, they should always carry a little supply of DEF, right? I'd always recommend to carry a little bit of extra with yourself. You never know. I mean, we have that new that new gauge inside, so it doesn't hurt to always add a little bit more. What does DEF do? So DEF is essentially, due to our emission laws that we have in the U.S., it allows us to clean up the, the diesel emission that we have coming out of the exhaust. So basically what it does is acts as a spray within an area that we have in our exhaust and it breaks down all those toxins and it emits clean air out of the exhaust for our vehicles. So it's a good thing to have. It's a great thing to have. For a little bit of an inconvenience of maybe having to uh, fill up that tank a little bit, uh, having clean it's air is not, not a bad deal. No, it's not a bad deal at all. Tell me about this, this new uh, radio. So with the new Sprinter, uh, we're proud to say that we now have the MBUX system introduced into the new Sprinter. So what does MBUX stand for? It's Mercedes-Benz user experience. And essentially we have different ways to communicate to the vehicles. You see I said Mercedes and she starts talking to me. So essentially we can you can speak to the vehicle. Never mind Mercedes. Go back to sleep. <laughs> so you can speak to the vehicle itself and, 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 and say different commands. Um, for example, say hey Mercedes. Mercedes. How can I help you? Turn on passenger seat warmer. 
I'm switching on the seat, heating on the front passenger seat. So you'll see on the door, the light switches on, and then we have the passenger seat warmer on now. So yeah, so that's one method of, of communicating with the vehicle itself. It has an artificial, artificial intelligence module working in the background. So the more you speak to it, it begins to understand the different languages you have, how you speak to it, your different ways you pronounce things. Another way to use this is by touch. So now you can actually physically touch the screen and go across. We offer all the basic things that you would have in a navigation system and a little bit more. So you have options to go into your phone, look at all your contacts, add favorites to itself, see some of your recent calls, potentially read some of your messages. So then we also have our navigation system now. With this navigation, we essentially have something called smart navigation. So what this does is basically, it will show you the different traffic, pricing, and it'll just even show you the cities itself. And it's much similar to your smartphones that you have now where you pinch in and zoom out. And the further you go in, you have different views of where you are and essentially where you're sitting. What do you want to do? Go to Moab, Utah. Do you want to start route guidance or modify the current route guidance? Start. The route is being calculated. Please proceed to the highlighted route. Look at that. As you guys will see. Look at that. So yeah, you can do that. You can speak to it. If you have your hands full, you're in the middle of driving, you can look it up as well. So this is another one of the new features that we have. It also give you um, the quickest route because it'll read the current live traffic information and give you the best route. Mercedes, what's the quickest route? And there you go. It gives you the recommended route and there's alternative routes as well. Mercedes, take me to 770 Sundial Court, Fort Walton Beach, Florida. Please select an entry. Do you want to start route guidance or modify the current route guidance? Modify. Where would you like to insert the destination? Please say a number. Two. I have inserted the destination in position two. The route is being calculated. Do you know how much easier this is than that last system that you had? Look at that pension ring. You can pinch and zoom out completely. Yeah. It'll give you your full route, basically. You just rotate and you guys will see that. There's my route. There's your route. Now, this also has CarPlay, right? Yeah, so as you'll see, we have one of these right here. And in this area, we have now what's called USB-C ports. So USB compact ports, essentially what these do, they allow for a, fact, a faster charging rate and ask faster data speeds transfer. So right here, this allows for the Apple CarPlay and Samsung Android Auto. And these two are charging ports. And not only now with that do we have USB-C connectors, we also offer wireless charging within our vehicles itself. So here you'll see it's prompting me to pay, but it's also charging my phone at the same time. So we have wireless charging introduced into this vehicle as well. So basically now you use this as a browser. It prompts you to set up for a one month free and then you, this interface essentially acts like your computer now. So you can search Google, YouTube. So for example, if you're driving and your wife's in the passenger seat and she wants to look something up, then she can go ahead and search something online. So we also provide all the info as well of the vehicle. So the engine, torque and horsepower. Um, you also see some of the fuel consumption itself, so I'll tell you different fuel consumptions. Obviously, because these vehicles are idled a lot, that fuel consumption is a little bit mis misread. Uh, we also offer an electronic operator's manual now. So in this option, you can now search for key functions that you're looking for. So instead of having to go through the whole entire book itself, you can search the, the, the operator's manual. Is it voice control? No, it has to be. You have okay. to type, type it in. So you can do search. And then say, for example, oil. You want to know what kind of oil you need. And it can show you exactly what's recommended, which filters are recommended. So you don't have to open the dash and pull all that out. Great. Tell me some more about this dashboard besides this awesome entertainment system. What else is here? So overall, interior-wise, as you guys will see, this whole cockpit's changed now. It's much more car-like. We've introduced a lot of the features from our from our, our, our friends over in the passenger cars. Um, as you guys will see, it's a much more smoother, refined look. We've introduced um, our new stock here for the shifter. So as previous uh, model years, you guys will remember the Sprinter had this shifter right, right here. My so dog we, kept knocking it over. Exactly. Turn around. I'd always knock my knee on it too, yeah. turn it around. 
So we've kind of gone away with that and now we have this this stock now So it's essentially you treat it like if you're doing a turn signal So for right turn, turn signal you put your foot on the brake and just push down and it puts the vehicle into drive It's freeing up this cockpit much more cleaner area. We also have now paddle shifters These all come standard with all the vehicles So if you need a shift for some reason you're overtaking somebody you're going up a hill you tap on these passenger or these uh, paddle shifters and essentially you, you're shifting through your gears. Um, also now, as you'll see, the whole steering wheel itself is a, it's a whole new, much more refined look as compared to our previous model year. We have touch pads on here, so this will control the MBUX system with the touch pads. So it's much similar like your iPhone. Um, you can control the volume of your radio from here as well. So you'll see you can go that. It also prompts you if you want to make a phone call or hang up on the phone so you can hit the phone button and then you can look for here who you want to call and you can do the phone call from here as well. On the left hand side this is more to control your your instrument cluster area. So from here you can set your cruise control or if you have Distronic. So if you want to have that active cruise control you can acti activate it and do the different car links. And this is more to control your center instrument cluster. And it'll show you the overall cleaner look. Now for our climate control, we've uh, introduced a whole new different area. So previously you guys had to deal with a lot of the knobs and turning and going like that. So we wanted to take that and simplify it much more. Um, just a very simple temperature control on the left hand side. Another big thing as well is now our cup holders, as you guys will see. No more broken no cup more holders. Broken cup holders. I have had five spritters. Every cup, cup holder has yeah. broken. Everyone. Yep. Yeah. And then look up here. It's cup holders there. So you have additional cup holders up there. But and down here. Yes, sir. You can't use that many cups. And then another thing now with the new sprinters, our new key. So now we've switched over to the wireless key platform. So as you guys will remember, the previous model year, we had that switch blade. It right. would pop out and you'd have to turn on the key. So now with this, you essentially just unlock the vehicle. You step on in, then you put your foot on the brake, and then you hit this push to start. And you're on your way. A much more smooth, easier access to the vehicle, a much more cleaner to look too. It's excellent. Well, you've made a beautiful machine here. We're very proud of our product and we're excited to get it out to our customers so they can start exploring in this new Mercedes on the different roads and adventures that calls out to them. So here's a question that often comes our way. So many states now have uh, biodiesel. They offer biodiesel. Mm -hmm. uh, which your recommendation on that okay. when somebody's driving through and that's all the choice they have? Okay. Well, this, this question does come up quite a bit and our engineers have done some testing with biodiesel. The owner's manual and everything does state B5 is recommended, 5% biodiesel. But we realize in states like Minnesota and the warm weather and other states that they have up to B20. They have done some testing. B20 can be used, but there are some precautions that need to be followed when using B20. Number one, idling time needs to be limited. And the reason why, some of the contaminants that come from biodiesel get into the engine oil and start raising the oil level, which is not a desirable condition at all times. One of the other recommendations is when you can get B5, use it. If you're driving through a state that has B20 and you've got to get you know, filled up with B20 and that's all you're going to be using, no special precautions really. But if you are using it as a steady diet, you really need to actually follow those recommendations. We also like to see um, maybe cutting the oil change interval uh, down a little bit. Latest generation Sprinter, since 2015 actually, our oil change interval is up to 20,000 miles and we actually will use a lot of environmental data and things and it will tell you when it needs an oil change. For an RV customer most of the time the oil change interval will go the full 20,000 miles but for heavy duty use hot you're in Death Valley or in the subarctic temperatures you may see the oil change interval will be a little bit less but it, as long as you use the recommended Mercedes-Benz oil um, you can go up to 20,000 miles with an oil change. And just circling back to that biodiesel thing going to you know, Minnesota or a couple of the other states where that's all you can get, don't worry about it. Just keep moving Just and keep driving. Watch your idling time when you have a tank of that, um, but no other precautions, no no less oil change intervals or, or things like that. But try and get B5 whenever you can. That's That would be best. Royer, we've heard a lot of conflicting information about how long a diesel engine like in the Sprinter, the new Sprinter, should uh, be allowed to idle. We see some people say, oh, it shouldn't idle at all. 
Uh, but the fact is, much of the technology, some of the technology and automatic uh, engine generators, that sort of stuff, uh, that's how the batteries are charged. So help us understand about engine idling and the new Sprinter. Sure, Mike. Um, so what we uh, kind of informally recommend is no more than two to three hours of, of idle time at one point. Now, that doesn't mean if you're boondocking on Monday, you idle for two to three hours. Tuesday, you idle for two to three hours. Wednesday, that's, that's not right. Two to three hours maximum, then the vehicle needs to get out, driven at highway speed to let that regeneration process happen on the diesel engine. And if you don't do that, you could come into a situation where you have a, a diesel particulate filter that would fill up a lot faster if you're doing more idling. Tell us about this new engine. Uh, the engine is not new for 19. Oh, okay. yeah, it is okay. a, it is the yeah. three liter, uh, same 180 horsepower, 325 foot pounds of torque. Uh, we did, however, pair it with a seven speed automatic, which is different from the five speed in, in previous versions. So there you go. That 2019 Sprinter, it is a winner. As I said, we'll have a full review on the Unity FX and why we're loving this leisure travel van so much, but that's coming up in a future video. For now, would you do us a big favor? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the RV Lifestyle channel right here on YouTube. I'm Mike Wendland. Thank you for watching and happy trails.